Hi, before commencing any further modelling, I decided to quickly analyse what had been drawn so far and to make any necessary refinements. For example, I modified all of the windows to timber frames and adjusted some wall types that had been assigned the wrong material, such as this ground floor wall. But this is what makes BIM and parametric modelling so efficient. At any time, I can make a change with a click of a button and it will simultaneously update the takeoff and the specification. Further to this, I also commenced modelling the first four skylights and landscaping, but I will show you how I modelled these freeform items once I get to the roof. The other thing that I did here was obviously cut the voids into the slab. To model the roof, I need to turn the roof CAD layer back on so that I can trace it, and then double click into it. Now that I've double clicked into it, I need to enclose it to create the face. Please note that if you are using a CAD drawing as reference, like me, but it does not create a single face like I just did, then either your lines do not meet properly or there are overlapping lines. So make sure that any CAD lines that you insert into your model are neat and tidy before you use them. The next thing that I'm going to do is explode this group and then assign it to layer zero. I can now hide the roof level CAD and then I can go into my slab tool. Finally, I can delete this reference face.